All right. So how about if I classically use this right here? So today I want to talk about um, continue my conversation about homosexuality and how you know, in my life, according to my testimony, um, homosexuality was very much infiltrated in my belief system. Um, one thing that I learned recently, relatively recently on my journey is that homosexuality is a behavior and not an identity. And that's the lie. The lie is that you're a homosexual you were born that way. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. It's biological, which there is no proof that it's biological. Um, or the stuff that they have is inconclusive. So, um, it's, it's this notion that homosexuality is an identity. It's who you are, who you were born to be. Now, according to the gospel and according to the, to the Bible, and to God, <laughs> according to God, um, homosexuality is a behavior, not an identity. He didn't create us to be homosexual. In fact, he sees it as a sin. And just to put it in um, context, saying that you're homosexual as an identity is like saying that if you commit the sin of lying, you are a liar. And you classify and identif identify yourself as a liar. So, I'm a liar. I was born that way. That's how homosexuality is a sin. Kind of like lying is a sin. Adultery is a sin. Nobody identifies as an adulterer. It's a behavior. It's an action that you do that is sinful. But it's not your identity. Same thing with homosexuality. So I thought that was very interesting and very clarifying and vindicating because I'll tell you one thing, giving up your sexuality, giving up what you considered your identity is tough. Giving up who you think you were, you are for the Lord is tough because you believe this lie for a long time that you were born gay and that homosexuality is an identity and then it becomes a culture and all of a sudden you feel like you have to be loyal to a culture when Christ is the only choice for salvation. And um, if you want to be saved, because we all need a savior, it's Jesus. Jesus.